George for Friday Night Varsity Flashback. We are here in Shalot for a Week 5 games. We'll have highlights later in the show from Hoggard at South Columbus, James Keenan at East Duplin, Southwest Onslow at Wallace Rose Hill. But let's get started with the highlights from this game, Ashley at West Brunswick. The Trojans come in 2-1 and one while Ashley was 2-2. Two and two. West Brunswick wanting to stay above 500 heading into conference play next week, but the Screaming Eagles put that in danger early. Ashley sticks with its bread and butter, and that's Zach Finnegan passing the ball. A lot. In the second quarter, Finnegan hits the slant to Micah Allen, who finds room up the middle and big yards. Three plays later, the Screaming Eagles call the same play on 4th and 10 from the West Brunswick 26, and it pays off. Allen is in the end zone for the score and a 14-7 lead. Later in the second, Ashley tries its luck on the ground as Josh Butler takes the handoff. But the Screaming Eagles go back to their passing game as Finnegan finds Jordan Brecky for a 56-yard touchdown and a 20-7 halftime lead. The Trojans would come back from there using several Ashley mistakes and two Maverick Pate touchdowns to take a 21-20 win. Now we'll head over to Wallace Rose Hill where the Bulldogs were driving late in the second half. A big run by Devontae Herring puts the Bulldogs in scoring range, but the pass to Torrey Hall falls incomplete with three defenders around him. That helps Southwest Onslow hold a 7-6 halftime lead. The first drive in the second half proved to be all the difference. After the Bulldogs go 3-0, and out, Southwest Onslow catches the punt and takes it back to the house for the deciding score. But the Bulldogs immediately point out that the Stallion signaled for a fair catch, and Coach Joey Price argues it with the refs. Let's look at the replay as the Stallion seemed to signal for the fair catch, but hey, I don't wear stripes, folks. The call stands, and Southwest Onslow goes on to win 14-12. We'll stick in Dublin County, where East had another rivalry game this week. After beating Wallacers Hill on the road last week, the Panthers were home for a matchup with James Keenan. The Tigers got on the board first as Dasmond Smith gets to the outside, says you can't catch me, and goes 39 yards for the touchdown. But East Dublin goes to its stable of running backs to get on the board. Delonte Miller starts things off with a big run before Justin Pickett finds room outside, shakes off the linebacker, and comes up with a big gain. Smoke Matthews is the next to carry, and then Miller has it again with Matthews out in front. Pickett gets the ball out to the goal line before Miller takes it up the middle for the score. It was all East Dublin from there as the Panthers improved to 4-0 and with a 39-15 win. Finally, we'll head to South Columbus where the Stallions were coming off a bye week with a game against Hoggard. South Columbus took an early lead as Rontonio Stanley caps off the first quarter drive with a 6-yard score. South Columbus wouldn't need much offense because the defense held strong all night. The Stallions stopped the option, say no to the pitch, and then the direct snap to Javon Genright doesn't work as a host of Stallions are in on the tackle. Stanley would score again in the second, and Brian Riggins hits the corner for the two-point conversion. The Stallions go on to win 20-6. to Let's take a look at the other scores from around the area. West Brunswick comes back to beat Ashley, 21-20. Dixon earns a win over North Duplin, 16-13. East Bladen beat South Robinson to remain undefeated, winning 42-16. East Duplin beats James Keenan 39-15. South Columbus tops Hoggard 20-6. Jacksonville earns a win 21-13 over Richlands. 71st comes back to beat Laney 30-17. New Hanover wins a defensive battle 3-0 at Jacksonville Northside. North Brunswick earns a win on the road 40-6 over Lejeune. South Brunswick tops Red Springs 35-0. Southwest Onslow beats Wallace Rose Hill 14-12. West Columbus earns a 38-29 win against West Bladen. Whiteville shuts out East Columbus 38-0. Trask tops Fairmont 7-0. And Harold's Christian beats Weldon 43-20. Well, that's it for us this week. Be sure to check back on Wednesday as we preview the Week 6 games. But for this week, I'm Rachel George for Friday Night Flashback on StarNewsOnline.com.